Would you like to learn my top five mistakes that I made in my business because of my overactive ego? In this video, I'm gonna do exactly that. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Simon Lovell bringing you growth in under 10 minutes. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you those top five really pitfalls of my ego taking control. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that button and also hit the bell to make sure that you get regular updates. Now, by far, out of everything that really held me back, it was my overspending because of my unhealed trauma and what I mean by that was that because I really didn't feel good enough within myself, I got a fancy car that I didn't need to get. I would buy watches, I would get these big homes, and deep down, I didn't really need that within me, but that ego, that part of me, wanted to feel significant. And so when I got all of these things, I suddenly realized that I still wasn't fulfilled and I really wasn't happy. And so it was this, which was, getting these things because I thought that other people would like me and they would be my friend and they would think that I was you know, someone special when I found out that that really wasn't the case. And it was the moment that I made the decision to let go of all of that, that actually I stopped comparing myself to people. And that was just a massive profound moment for me. And so there was so much overspending on really things that I didn't need. And so I just want to share with you, maybe if you're in this situation also, which is identifying truly what are the things that you need that you want and that are absolutely essential and are not based on material success, but things that are actually going to give you fulfillment versus what I call happiness shots. Okay. Number two, which was really taking responsibility and going into superior mode. And then ego does that so well, right? It, it creates this illusion that, well, I don't need to deal with this now because I've reached a certain level. Instead of kind of going back to the floor and, and, and being in it with other team members. And it's that superior mindset that I really don't like anymore and I like to kind of go on that same level. And of course I need to check in sometimes and it's not that my, my ego doesn't come in on, on a certain occasions, but I've got that more in check now where I was just living in this space of like, I'm above that, I don't need to deal with that. And that's when things started to really crumble. The next one is about taking on clients that weren't really a fit. Now, this is what happens if you have sales targets and if you're you know, needing to close a certain amount of people a month and it's about money, what happens is then is that we get to that point in that conversation with someone and there's a part of us that knows that maybe this person really isn't a fit, but there's this other dominating part, which is, well, I've got to hit this number. And that's not congruent, right? There's, there's the dominating feeling that's actually being suppressed. And when we get this kind of awakening and spiritual shift, what happens is, is that we start to live from that place of, no, this doesn't feel right. This is, um, you know, in integrity because what the ego does is it takes us out of integrity. And so we just need to admit this and we need to be honest about this. The next one is about failing to continue to learn. And so what I would do is I would continue to learn in certain areas, but I would also then neglect other areas because once again, going into that superior mindset. And so is there an area that you've stopped learning in because maybe the ego is a little bit too active? Have a think about that. The next one is being in a scarcity mindset. I was always worried about people copying me. And I wanna also distinguish here around plagiarism, which is wrong and we need to hold boundaries, right? Versus just being in this fear-based mindset instead of being in abundance. And so what would happen is I would have certain clients come along and say that they wanted to do certain things. And then I was so in fear of things being taken away from me and me losing, right? And that's again, a trick of the ego. So all of these things are really important because once we bring awareness to them, it can really help us with our spiritual growth in our business so that we can actually run a conscious business. And I wanna be clear, I don't get it perfect now, 
but these have been monumental shifts for me where I just live from this different place and I really wanted to share these things for you. What resonated from this video? Post into the comments below. Maybe you've moved through some of these stages yourself or maybe a couple of these things, maybe just one of these things has really resonated with, with you. What are you gonna focus on? As always, hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell to make sure that you get regular updates and I'll see you in another video. Take it easy.